That naughty artist who put the shadow of Monica Lewinsky's dress into the portrait of President Bill Clinton is being tarred with his own brush today. Painter Nelson Shanks is catching a ton of heat on social media, most of it negative. This artist is a self-serving jerk. What a coward. I hate passive aggressive moves like that. I don't like Clinton, but what Nelson Shanks did is pathetic. Little could anyone have dreamed that Shanks was harboring a bombshell secret about the shadow on the portrait. He went on national TV today and was unapologetic. The shadow itself, not only to function as a, a block in the composition at a certain point, but also as a, a symbolism, a shadow across the administration. That shadow represents the infamous blue dress, which proved Lewinsky had relations with President Clinton despite his denial. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. I met Shanks in 2006, the year the portrait of Clinton was unveiled. People are saying that it looks a little informal for a presidential portrait. Is that mm -hmm. what you wanted to convey? Well, we could make it stiff and boring like so many are, and I decided to go the other way. Back then, many were upset over the fact that Shanks forgot to paint a wedding ring on the president's left hand. I've never seen Bill Clinton without his wedding ring and uh, so probably it was inappropriate for me to leave it out, so I apologize. But there was not a hint that the shadow on the painting symbolized the Lewinsky scandal. We now know what this shadow really means, beyond a shadow of a doubt.